Hello and welcome to this presentation on understanding FIPS 140-2. My name is Wyatt Hackthorne. I am a consultant here at Encryption Consulting, and today we're going to talk about what FIPS 140-2 is, its importance, and why compliance is so critical for organizations handling sensitive data. Today we're going to dive into why compliance is important, what FIPS 140-2 actually is, the importance of it, and the security requirements for it, who needs to be FIPS compliant, and at the end, we'll go through an encryption assessment. The first thing I wanted to do is talk about this data threat report done by Thales back in 2024. Here are a couple of stats that talk about when compliance has failed here in the past 12 months. Compliance in the data security world is key. Having a defined compliance process is important, and it also creates visibility across the organization's compliance requirements. Also, it builds trust with your customers. First, I want to start out with what is FIPS 140-2? FIPS 140-2 stands for the Federal Information Processing Standard Publication. It is a U.S. government standard used to evaluate the security of cryptographic modules, whether they are software or hardware. This evaluation ensures that tools meet specific levels of protection from basic security measures to advanced tamper resistance. The framework categorizes security requirements into four levels. Level 1 is basic security measures, such as implementing cryptographic algorithms without requiring additional physical security mechanisms. Level 2 adds tamper evidence features like seals or coatings that indicate if a device has been accessed or altered. Level 3 incorporates identity-based authentication and tamper resistance, ensuring that only authorized users can access critical functions while providing physical protection against intrusion. Finally, level four provides robust protection against physical attacks, such as environment stress testing and defense against more sophisticated attempts to extract sensitive data. This next slide goes more into depth on the security requirements of each level. FIPS 140-2 compliance is more than just a checklist. It's vital to ensuring data security. It helps protect sensitive data information from breaches and tampering. By adhering to this framework, organizations demonstrate their commitment to robust cryptographic standards, ensuring data integrity, authentication, and non-repudiation. Next, I wanted to talk about why FIPS 140-2 compliance is important. FIPS 140-2 compliance provides multiple benefits data security insurance, regulatory requirements, risk mitigation, and customer trust. Data security insurance means ensuring algorithms meet the standards put in place to keep us safe. Regulatory requirements meeting legal and industry-specific standards. Risk mitigation to reduce vulnerabilities to data breaches and unauthorized access. And customer trust to reinforce the reputation and ensuring customer confidence in data security practices. Next, I wanted to talk about who needs to be FIPS 140-2 compliant. U.S. federal agencies, their contractors and vendors are required to be FIPS 140-2 compliant. Cloud service providers and cybersecurity organizations, industries such as healthcare, finance, and technology that handle regulated data. These entities must ensure that cryptographic tools meet FIPS 140-2 standards to mitigate risks and maintain regulatory compliance. The last thing I wanted to talk about is what we offer here at Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting provides an end-to-end -end advisory service, including reviewing existing policies against industry standards, conducting gap assessments to pinpoint vulnerabilities, and lastly, creating a roadmap with best practices for compliance. Our structured approach ensures organizations align with FIPS 140-2 requirements and fortify their data security posture. Thanks for joining me on this session of Understanding FIPS 140-2. Compliance isn't just a legal obligation, it's the cornerstone of data security. For more information, visit us at our website at www.encryptionconsulting.com or contact us at info at